Hi, I'm Reed, and today I'm going to be talking about the four different types of publics in PR. The first type is non-publics. There's either no problem or they don't recognize a problem, and so there's no constraint for this type uh, of public to get involved in the problem since there isn't one. Second is latent publics. Now, latent publics are just not aware of the problem in their community, so they don't have uh, the opportunity to take action, or there's a higher constraint against taking action. Third type is aware publics. Now, they understand there's a problem, but they have a higher barrier to entry, uh, or something's keeping them from taking action. And then finally are active publics. Active publics are people who are getting involved in the solution of the problem. Let's take a look at the different elements that make up these four different groups of publics, and then look at an example from each one. When classifying the four different types of publics, it's important to remember these three important factors. The first is, what is the problem recognition? Is it high or low for the publics involved? Second is, what is the constraint recognition, or what are the barriers they have? Are they high or low? And then third, what is the level of involvement? Now let's take a look at an example of each of the different types of publics, starting with non-publics. This is a park in France, and these people are not worried about UH parking because they're not involved in our community and it's not a problem for them, so they are considered a non-public. These red crabs cover the road in Cuba during certain seasons of the year, and if you were visiting Cuba and didn't know about this, it wouldn't make it any less of a problem, so you would be part of a latent public uh, if you had to travel between the different cities. So this is my example for a latent public because just because you don't know about the problem doesn't mean it doesn't exist and it won't affect you. Coney 2012 is a great example of an aware public because just because you know there's a problem in another country doesn't mean you can necessarily take action if you don't have the money or you're not living in close proximity to take action directly or you don't trust the charity for whatever reason. So this is my example of a aware public. Voting is a great example of being an active public because you're actively taking part in an election or a policy and gone out and uh, contributing to making a difference because you have a lower constraint and higher problem recognition in the scenario. Well, this is my final example. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation. Thanks for watching.